I'm Keith Hall of Caravan World and I've come along to talk with Jenny here about this amazing caravan behind us. So Jenny, tell us, what is this? This is a 1959 road cruiser. It was apparently built by a man by the name of Jack Newcomb from Adelaide. All right, That's South Australian, yes. Um, we bought it across here um, after finding it in a little country town of Mildura. Okay, Jenny, so you've agreed to tell us how you found it. So how, how um, did you get your hands well, on it? Well, actually, this? how, um, I must say it's myself and my partner, Mark. Um, we actually both run the Vintage Caravan Forum, which is on the, oh, yeah. on the internet oh, yeah. at the moment. And we were actually contacted by the grandson of the original owner, okay. who had this caravan nicely stored away in the shed. And uh, that's been the opportunity to pay for it. So Jenny, I understand this isn't just a standard model, but one that's been rather custom made. That's that, a, that would have to be an understatement, right. I can tell you, Keith. Um, the man who had it actually built, had it custom built, um, he was a very prominent Mildura businessman. And I think he decided that he was going to have everything that was the best of the best of the best of the business van. I mean, right. as we said, there's a, there's a toilet in it. How many 59 vans had a toilet? Right, right. Yes, it, it certainly doesn't have your normal mental picture of icebox and metho stove and lack of creature comforts, right? Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. And, you know, by, you know, even by 1959 standards to today's standards, it's a very comfortable van. So Jenny, I'm admiring your beautiful tow car here. What exactly is this? Uh, this would have to be my pride and joy. This is my 64 compact Fairlane. Um, as you can see, she's got a nice 12 slotters on it, and I love it to bits. Uh, she runs a actually, she runs a 302 uh, Windsor at the moment. This is V8. V8, very much so. Okay. Um, not the original 260, as you okay. can see by the badging, but mm -hmm. yeah. And I guess you must find that the V8 engine in a nice big car like this must make pulling the caravan very simple. A well, V8's the only way to tow a caravan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You've got your power and everything else and your torque, yeah. It yeah. makes a very, very big difference. Yeah. certainly makes a very, very eye-catching rig, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yes, it does. Yeah. I'm very proud of it. You mentioned that this is actually a Canadian tow car, not an Australian one, for anybody who's thinking what a strange looking fairing. Yeah, it was imported, um, yes. And I know that these are very beautiful cars, but you also mentioned the original owner would have used something quite different from this. What did he have? Well, as I said, he liked to have the very best in his caravan, so he actually towed it with a 1955 Rolls Bentley. Right, well that must have looked pretty striking on the road as well. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. I guess it was a bit of a statement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a look at me, that's for sure. <laughs> so Jenny, this is a pretty amazing caravan for 1959. What are some of its special features? Um, I'd say probably, as you say, a very, very fancy caravan for its year. I think the biggest feature would have to be actually the toilet. I don't think many caravans in 59 would have had a toilet on board. Um, so that sort of was probably a very big upmarket type of feature. The other thing I think would be the, the actual fridge because it, unlike a lot of caravans where the fridge actually fits into the cabinet work, this is actually a fridge that stands by itself. It is also the combination of the um, gas and electric. Um, and as you can also see, it's fitted out quite uh, elegantly like with the little window box, the glass holders, um, Holland blinds, which apparently um, seem to be in very, very good condition considering the age of the van as it stands at the moment. So they're original maybe? I would say they're very original, yeah. Um, I'm quite amazed at the way it's uh, sort of been kept. Another would have to be the table down the rear of the van. Um, it folds back three times, which is another outstanding feature. Usually for the, for any tables are sort of like just fold down once. This sort of folds right back out of the way, so you don't even know it's even there when it's not. They were ingenious, weren't they? Oh, they were very ingenious. You know, things are just fit into little spaces that you don't realise. <laughs>